A lot of us love playing Madden on our Xbox or PlayStation. However, if you're an NFL player, you never want to be on the cover of Madden. You know why? Because there's a curse in this game. For more than 20 years into the iconic franchise's history, there's almost no escaping the Madden curse. So here it is, the worst Madden curse NFL victims. Our first victim is Patrick Mahomes II. In 2018, he was named to the Pro Bowl, first team All-Pro and one of four black quarterbacks to win the MVP award. So Mahomes gracing the cover shouldn't be a surprise to anyone. He was named the cover athlete for Madden NFL 20. But like I said, this game is cursed, folks. The Kansas City Chiefs announced that Mahomes was out with a knee injury. Oh, here we go again. Fortunately, this injury wasn't too serious. He would end up missing less than a month before returning to action. Mahomes was lucky. But there were those that were not lucky. Especially when the game came out in the 2000s, what happened to the people on the cover was really scary. For example, look at the cover of this 2000 game. Our case is not about the man in the front, the one and only John Madden. But if you look carefully at the background, you can clearly see Barry Sanders doing his thing. And do you know what happened to him? Injury? Nope. Punishment? Nope. But my man retired from the game. Yep, you heard me right. Only a few weeks after Electronic Arts revealed this cover, the Detroit Lions running back shocked the world, announcing his retirement. A more surprising aspect of the matter is at the time, Sanders was only 31, had a strong last season, and was healthy. People said he was tired of losing on the Lions, but we all know the real deal. Don't believe me? Then let's take a look at what happened to our Madden 2001 star. My man Eddie George had just rushed for over 1,200 yards in four seasons straight and averaged 3.7 yards per carry to lead the team in 2000. Congrats, Eddie. You deserve to be on the cover of Madden 2001. Then a rare bobbled pass by George late in the fourth quarter of a playoff game against the Baltimore Ravens led to an interception and a touchdown that ended the Titans' otherwise stellar season. After that heartbreak, the next season he averaged just three yards per carry and under 1,000 yards for the first time in five seasons. He never gets above 3.7 yards per carry again after averaging 4.0 before the cover. Don't worry, George, the stars after you had the same problems. For example, Dante Culpepper on the 2002 cover, just a few months after being named the Madden NFL cover athlete, suffered a knee injury during a game against the Steelers and had to miss the rest of the 2001 season. And his performance went consistently downhill from there. After starting all 16 games before the cover, he only does that again two of his nine other seasons. If you think this is a coincidence, then let me tell you the story of the 2003 cover. Marshall Falk, the star on the cover of Madden 2003, naturally suffered from this curse. My man Falk went for five consecutive thousand-yard seasons before the cover. That included four years with over 1,300 yards. The very next season, he suffers an ankle injury and misses five games. He never gains over a thousand yards rushing again. The more terrifying aspect of the matter occurred three years later. He eventually missed the entire 2006 season due to a surgery on his knee and never returned to the league. Jeez, that's really horrible. And there are even weirder ones. For example, just a short time after it was announced that the Atlanta Falcons star Michael Vick would be the cover athlete for Madden 2004, he fractured his right fibula during a preseason game. The injury forced him to miss the first 11 games of the season. Then he got into dogfighting. Ray Lewis, who was the cover star in 2005, couldn't escape the sting as well. Lewis tore his right hamstring, forcing him to end his season abruptly. However, what happened to cover star Donovan McNabb in 2006 was even more frightening. He was on track for a huge year in 2005 when his season was derailed by a groin injury that sent him to the injured reserve for the remainder of the season. 
My man never quite recovered, and the following season in Week 11, he tore his ACL and meniscus in his right knee and once again was sidelined for the remainder of the season. It was such a bad injury that it caused my man to end his football career in 2011. Man, oh man. By 2009, the Madden curse was in full effect, so EA Sports tried to break it by changing the rules. Two athletes were on the cover for the first time. These guys were Troy Palamalu and Larry Fitzgerald. It looks like the company hoped that at least one of them would have a great season and break the curse. At the time, Palamalu was one of the best defensive players in the league, and at the same time, Fitzgerald was one of the highest rated receivers in Madden 10. Soon enough though, Palamalu was hit by the curse, as his knee problem meant that he could only play five games during the season. Plus, his Super Bowl winning Steelers failed to make the playoffs. However, Fitzgerald stayed healthy and was even selected for a Pro Bowl. But once the curse was done with Palomalu, it hit Larry hard during the playoffs, leaving him with a season-ending rib injury. As you can see, eventually both men were cursed. Our latest victim is Antonio Brown on the cover of Madden 19. Antonio Brown was voted the second best NFL player and had the most receiving yards in the league before being introduced as the new Madden cover face. With a strong contract, the future looks so bright for the young stud on the Steelers. But after being on the cover, things took a dark turn. After numerous incidents, including violent behavior, dangerous driving, and sexual misconduct, Brown was traded to the Raiders. Then he got into an altercation with GM Mike Mayock and never played a game. He only played a single game for the Patriots in 2019 before being released. He did play a few games for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but was never close to the same player. Now the best receiver in the league can't even get a roster spot. We weren't exaggerating, were we guys? Please include evil eyes on the cover next time. Because we all know the Madden curse will get you. Hope you enjoyed the video. Check out another one now.